tell us what you thought about Oppenheimer. I really enjoyed it. It was, well, stuff that's, again, up my alley. It's, uh, I'm somewhat, not exactly been obsessed with atomic bombs, but they do kind of, um, kind of freak me out a little bit. I've had <laughs> <laughs> nightmares about it, but even in all that, like, not, not recently, like, like, almost like throughout my life I've had different nightmares where like an atomic bomb goes off or wherever or whatnot but um, recently I haven't probably been like a year maybe since I've had it but anyways um, again this is all like feels a little Truman Show-ish because it's like all the stuff I like it's like atomic bombs and Barbie Christopher Nolan I'm just and, kidding <laughs>
Um, leading up to that, when I was awake, it was really cool. I, I had wanted to see it. But um, Sal had been showing us like documentary after documentary. And so I kind of already knew it was going to happen. So I was already set for it. So it was more of the like criticizing, not criticizing. Tell Sal Sergio says hi. Hi. Sergio says hi. Hi. He's here. <laughs> hi. Wait. I can't see because the car is like bouncing up and down. Anyway. um, Yes, it was really cool. Go and see it in IMAX, I think. Sure, yeah. I, I, I wouldn't even say XD, but like the big show at Alamo didn't seem like the, like the screen was as big. It's bigger than their other ones, but it's not, I think, as big as XD or or um, IMAX. Yeah, I would and, try. And, and honestly, I don't know what, because of Barbie and Oppenheimer, I think Cinemark is showing Barbie on XD. I don't even know if they're showing. And I think some have two theaters, two XD theaters. And so they might show one and one, but I, I know, um, well, like the IMAX theater, I don't, honestly don't know what they're showing, and there's only one, one IMAX. And the big show here was showing Oppenheimer. I don't know. I don't know if they're going to be flip-flopping back and forth or anything, or, or what. Oh, but. yeah. I don't know. Go watch both of them. They're, yeah, actually, they're fine. We actually are set to see Barbie probably for Sunday, but we want to, I wanted to see this one first. Well, I wanted to see Oppenheimer probably better than better than Barbie. The thing, so we've been posting polls and stuff, and everybody wants to see Barbie more than Oppenheimer. I understand. Barbie is a, I, I suppose, a new concept, right? Like you don't know what's gonna happen at the end, um, or we don't know. But uh, we totally knew what was gonna happen at the end of Oppenheimer. Like <laughs> there's nothing. Um, transparent about this story the only thing that was transparent that I think that Nolan actually wanted to to focus on the thing the camera came forward is uh is that he was a brilliant mind and then he got pretty much like I don't know excommunicated or what do you call it it will so back then it was all like the whole communist thing and so he got accused of being a communist because either knew people that were communist and and uh, just by association now you couldn't be trusted so to me it almost seems like a similar political climate sometimes that like you have your own views but then you can't even side a little bit with the other side because now you're like you're you're betraying and like how could you how could you do this or how could you even Consider any of those things or whatever, and it's not. And from what it seemed, a lot like like the, the whole thing. That's pretty much the whole third part of the movie is like uh, kind of testimonies from different people. They thought he was a communist or not. Of anything he did was ever led them to believe, and most of them were like no. And but like the whole um, process or like the whole people that were chosen to like interrogate him were kind of like trying to find stuff, and it's just again seems like the current political climate where you're just trying to find stuff that proves your case but ignore all the stuff that that doesn't so that's that's the part that doesn't seem has ever changed and it's just kind of <laughs> annoying I guess but it's accurate and I don't know I, that's the part I guess I don't necessarily enjoy but I do like it, it's just realistic I guess it, it shows the Kind of stupidity that we, I don't know, we just grasp onto so so hard without anything like to change your mind, and like that just seems very annoying to me when you're already just that far rooted your foot down into the ground that nothing's gonna change your mind, and like when the, what the hell are we wasting our time for? But I think that it's um. So I had told Sal that I was excited that Nolan actually made this movie. When he did, I think that there's a whole lot of political unrest right now, and I think that it's important to know that there are some really big weapons that are around, just period. And who knows what others have? We don't even know what we have, right? Um, so it's I don't know. I'm I'm not saying like just like oh, absolutely keep the peace, but I think it's important to remember how many lives were affected by. Uh, 
by the atomic bombs, by the H bomb um, and uh, yeah. the P bomb that that we dropped in uh, in these places, and even the testing site in Los Alamos. So along with the documentaries that Sal was showing us, he had looked up a documentary about Los Alamos, and I thought it was really really crazy that an hour in Los Alamos. So they only do a, a tour of Trinity site, and Trinity site is where they did the first test of the atomic bomb. It's like twice a year. Or something. And they only do it twice a year and it's only for an hour you can only be exposed an hour and you're exposed to the same amount of radiation that you would be exposed to in a year of your like daily day -day. like day-to-day -day life um and so of course like you're exposed to radiation from different things right but an hour compared to an entire year i think that that's insanity that it's that radioactive and it's been how many years Since 1945, you guys have the math. Yeah. Um, but it's insane uh, that 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 stuff exists. I guess. Oh, I don't know. And then like, there's this. Um, it was actually like a new rock that was even formed. It's called Trinitite, and that's the only two place that you can find it. Is where uh, atomic bombs have been dropped. It's where it like it's, it melts the sand. And so, I think that it's really, really important to remember that stuff. Um, yeah. Go ahead. The, the detonation scene was so amazing. That was badass. And, like, I, I loved the way they did it. Like, if you see it, you'll see what I mean. Because as, as soon as I saw, like, I knew what they were going for. And they were going more for the realism of being there. Because I guess when you see stuff, like, the videos of it there's some video editing that happens that isn't kind of usually like it's, I guess it's just for for entertainment kind of like they're showing it to people and but there's a, the way they, they filmed it I was like that was awesome that was freaking amazing that was also too because we found out how it was like the time latency right is that what you're talking about yes. isn't it fair to tell them that or no no really no. oh my gosh because we even like saw it in the documentary well I know but it's like I'm telling you like okay. in the documentary usually you, they show it a different way like they show it because it's like for okay okay you guys will just have to go and watch for the for the excitement <laughs> uh, anything else on it I don't know it was the the acting was really great oh my gosh talk about some huge names or like I don't know right. about huge names but this <laughs> cast was yeah, like there were their, so many stars in it. They had the cast that they like is uh, like doing all the promos and stuff, like the ones you already know, um, like Matt Damon and Emily Emily Blunt and whatever. But there are so many other like pop ups. They're like, damn man, they got a they got a crazy cast for this. Yeah, I'm glad that they're making their money back because boy, did they have to probably pay those actors. There, it was a heavy, a, like a very <laughs> nutrient dense. <laughs> it was like a granola bar up in there chia seeds and all um yeah it was good absolutely and even though it was three hours long i would probably want to go and watch it again i would want to go and watch to make sure that i stay awake oh i fell asleep sorry <laughs> they're like what does not matter i it did i woke up like at the very very end you stayed awake through the whole thing yeah i did actually oh, man. Season, I, guess. I can't oh, watch okay. movies during the evening i guess i don't want to I don't know. I don't know because some of the other movies were good and you were yeah. asleep. This is that you were just like, you per, you were yeah. like Extra very interested in it. Yeah. And I was kind of like, I know what's going to happen at the end. <laughs> I don't know. But yes, go check it out. Hi. We were uh, actually talking about the Oppenheimer and if to go and see it. Yes, go and see it. It's amazing. And try to go and watch it in IMAX or like a really big theater and then sit probably in the center of the theater. Yeah, like not too low, not too high, but somewhere center where like it could take up your a good space of your I wonder if they show it in the one that has like the, the stuff on the sides. I doubt it. It this seems a little gimmicky for for um Nolan. Oh. But I don't know. Alright. Well guys, I think we are done. Let us know what you guys think of the movie. Yeah, we'll, we'll probably see
Barbie this week. 